Hello Sagittarius, <clears throat> this is your reading for the week of August 12th uh, for the week. Um, for everybody watching this video, if you want any information about me, it's in the box below. Please remember if the reading doesn't resonate with you, you can have a look at your rising, ascendant, moon, Venus. And if you don't like my readings, that's fine. You've got plenty of readers here on YouTube. Um, the cards I'm using are the Chiro Marchetti deck. So let's get cracking. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. First card out of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. I feel like with this card you're holding on to something that you need to let go of. Now sometimes we can talk about this being money, it's pentacles, but I feel like this isn't. It's very energetic. It feels like you're hanging on to something that you don't want to let go and that may be hanging on to an apology, hanging on to forgiveness, hanging on to loving someone and not telling them. This is really, really what it feels like to me. It's almost like you're making yourself ill hanging on to this. You're just not willing to let it go. You're not willing to share it. You're not willing to take it to the person you need to give it to. You're 100% going to hang on to this for the moment. You're just not ready to let it go. Your next card is the Nine of Cups. And <laughs> I think the the idea is here now, if you let it go, your wishes will come true. But we won't we won't sit on that for a moment. Um, I feel like you have your back turned towards your wish. You really, you're not seeing what this could bring you, which is, you know, perhaps a little sad, but you're just not willing to let it go at the moment. What you do need to understand is letting this go is not a bad thing. If it's, you know, saying sorry to someone or telling someone you love them, then it will bring in your wish. Okay. Now I feel like there's been a huge decision on whether you should part with what you're hanging on to or not. Um, I feel like because this card's in the wrong, it's inverted or upside down, that what you are in fact doing here is holding off making a decision for whatever reason. Sometimes when we know a decision has to be made, we go into denial and as you know that Two of Swords has a beautiful mask on here um, because she doesn't want to make the decision or just doesn't want to move forward on something. So we'd rather just keep their eyes closed and hope it goes away. But as you all know, it doesn't happen that way. So you need to be thinking about what is the decision you need to make here. Um, and it looks as though you're going to take time out to make this decision. The Four of Swords often talks about, you know, taking time out sleeping a little bit, having a bit of a rest on it, thinking on it, you know, what the outcome might be, where you're going, that type of thing. So it looks as though that's your next move here. Um, it could be a work-related thing. It could be that you're ready to chuck in your job and you know that chucking in your job would bring you your wish, you'd find something else, but maybe you're just not ready to do that at the moment and that's fine. You need to sit on it until you're ready. Um, if it's a love situation, which feels like to me it is, then, you know, maybe now it's time to start thinking about how you can move forward on that. Oh, hello, Hermit. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles and the Moon. Okay, so we now have the Hermit, the Eight of Pentacles and the Moon. So, um, you really are taking time on this because you don't want to speak to your truth, do you, Sagittarius? You're holding back on something that really means if you speak your truth here you have got to bear the consequences it's almost like there's something here that if you speak up and talk about it it's going to bring in something very very good but it's hard for you to talk about um i feel like this is something that you really need to go away and think about because I feel like even though you're feeling it's hard and you don't want to move forward, it's actually a really good outcome to this once you've spoken up. 
It's just that it's really difficult for you to do because I think you've got to dig deep, buddy, to get in here. Um, and I don't think that's comfortable for you. And I feel, yes, you know, I can understand why you want to escape it and run away here. That makes a whole lot of sense to me. But in the end, I feel like if you do it, it's going to be great. You're going to free yourself up. You're going to be ready to move forward and you're going to expose what you need to expose. Okay. There's a possibility here that you've cheated on someone. It's a possibility that somebody could have cheated on you. Um, but often when this card comes out, it does talk about three-party situations. Um, it could talk about in this reading that you're going to tell someone you no longer want to be with them because you want to be with someone else. Um, being the wish cards here, I'd say you've made up your mind you need to move on to the next person. Um, or you've realised that out of two people, you know, the, the person you want um, it's, it's great to go to the person you want, but you've still got to go and visit the person you don't want and fess up. And I think that's what's happening here because the next card here is you offering that cup, cup of love. So to me, it looks like after a period of rest and recuperation, you're going to come forward and speak to somebody about what you've been holding back on because, you know, ultimately this wish is there for you. It just means you've got to release a few secrets and fess up and you need to do it honestly. And that's bothering you, not because you don't want to move on, but because you're scared of hurting the person that you're going to tell. But actually, it's a really good outcome. And there you are speaking your truth. Don't hold back on it. It's still being, you know, it's still in the reverse. You're going to do it regardless of what happens. It's divine timing. You have to move forward on this. Um, the universe needs you to move forward on this so that they can bring this beautiful wish in for you. So don't be too scared of moving forward. Let's make sure you've got all your confidence together and you've thought about this a lot before you make this decision because at the end of the day, letting go of what's troubling you is going to stop keeping you awake at night. You'll be able to release it. Aquarius, Sagittarius, sorry. There you go. It could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Sagittarius, great reading. You need to take a chance. Thanks.